yes, you can get notifications on your Coros watch. In this video, I'll show you what those notifications look like, how to turn them on and off, and the various ways to dial in the settings according to your preference. Let's get started. Here's what it looks like to receive a message. You can also receive call notifications in a similar way. And if it's a direct call to your phone number, you have the option to ignore or silence the call. To review a recent notification, scroll up from the main watch face, click once to see and scroll through the message, click a second time for the option to delete or delete all. You can also click and keep scrolling to see previous messages. Now, while you can keep scrolling down to see previous messages, it's not very practical to go beyond just the first two or three messages. So this is more about seeing a notification in real time and figuring out, do I need to pull up my phone to take further action? You also cannot respond to the messages from your Coros watch, but that doesn't mean that you can't try. I'll be home soon, period. Another thing to note is that emojis do not show up when the notification comes across on your Coros watch. So basically, this does not have the same capabilities of something like an Apple Watch, which is okay because you're likely getting the Coros watch for its excellent fitness tracking capabilities or long battery life, and this is more about just a bonus add-on feature. So this is all great, but how can you turn these notifications on and off? The first thing to note is that this is only happening because a message is coming to your phone and then going through Bluetooth to your Coros watch. So there's no direct connection where notifications are coming to your watch, say via Wi-Fi. This is only happening if you have that pairing between your phone and your watch. And of course, your phone needs to be nearby. First, in your phone settings, check to make sure that you're receiving notifications. Turn off Do Not Disturb. Make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. And then within your phone settings, you're going to want to go to the Coros application settings and ensure that those system settings allow Bluetooth and allow notifications from the Coros app. Now let's go over to the Coros app on your phone. Click on the watch icon on the bottom right hand of the screen, then notifications, and here's where you can toggle on and off those notifications. You can have everything turned off, you can have everything turned on, or you can specify which applications you would like to receive notifications from. You can also select this other option at the bottom. This means anything that's not explicitly listed above, it will still send you those additional notifications. Now ensure that your phone and watch are synced. Go to the home page on the Coros app, swipe down, and you'll see the progress in the top left-hand corner. Now that we have the settings dialed in on the Coros application on your phone, Let's head over to the watch to look at those settings. So go into system settings and here you'll find an option for do not disturb. If you want to receive notifications, make sure that's turned off. Then under workout interface, you can scroll down to message and call alerts. This is where you get to decide if you want notifications to come to your watch while you're in workout mode. Do note, however, if you have notifications turned on, they will come up, but only briefly, and you can't really click or scroll to see anything more while you're in workout mode. Scroll down again to check pair phone, and just ensure that your phone and your watch have indeed been paired. If for some reason you're still having issues receiving notifications, there is a troubleshooting article from Coros. I'll share that link in the description below. I have four important tips for you to dial in your notification settings. One, ensure you regularly sync your phone and your watch through the Coros app. Number two, prioritize which applications you want to receive notifications from. Maybe it's just calls, text messages, and WhatsApp, and you don't really need to receive the latest notification from a food delivery service. Number three, Decide if you want to receive notifications during a workout. For me, that's a protected time where I want to disconnect and focus on what's going on around me or maybe reflect on what's happening inside of me. 
Number four, once you've got these settings dialed in, you're ready to get out for a training session. So click or tap the screen to check out this upcoming video about my top five tips for training to climb a mountain. If you found this video valuable, I'd love for you to subscribe to August Climbing. And hey, my name's August. I'll see you in the next video.